It's the day of the full moon. It's beautiful out. It's been crummy the last couple days, so everything should be good. We were fishing unpressured muskies. I, I don't know what's going to happen though, because muskies can always be muskies. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and uh, we're out on Eagle Lake right now. And uh, this is the first time we've actually gotten to fish it for more than just a couple hours because when we got here, the weather was absolutely atrocious. It went from 85 degrees to 55 degrees in the matter of a day. The wind blew so hard we had to pull the boats out. Uh, but we have a beautiful day today. It is the day of the full moon. I don't know if that's gonna help us or not. Uh, we've got some weather coming in later today. We're dealing with water temps in the upper 60s. So I, we should be able to bump into something. We've got a major in the middle of the day. Uh, I know previously we've been seeing fish right before that. So we'll see if that pattern still holds today. Uh, yeah, other than that, let's start fishing for muskies. All right, well, I am going to start off today with a Esox Assault 109 Bucktail. Jamie Jones, what you fishing with? Let me see it. It is a beat up Custom X 8 inch mini. This is the eagle color named for this lake, quite honestly. So that's what he's throwing. Uh, we're both rocking assault sticks. I've got a 2020 SWAT 9 foot with a 500 tranks HG favorite set up for bigger bucktails so let's see what we can get yeah i think after this spot i'm losing the pants <laughs> catch one right there yeah <laughs> There's a fish, Jay. There's a fish. There's a fish. Came up late. It's a nice fish. I kind of uh, had given up a little bit too early, and then all of a sudden I saw her. It was like a mid, low mid 40s. <laughs> okay, first contact of the day, but not uh, not exactly exciting. Well, that's good. At least there's one here. here, too, there's like a dozen here. Well, yeah, there's probably all sorts of them, but they're not behaving. turned but she peeled off give her another high one it wasn't that big I mean it was about a 40 but yeah. yes she came up again I thought I just saw her out there yep okay I gotta figure out what she wants she liked that she liked that Yep. Told you I'd get marathon figure eights on this spot. She. She likes it when I'm hanging on that corner. Yeah. Possibly. She wasn't quite hot enough. She was keeping too far back and not closing the distance enough. Yeah. 
it wasn't a, a tanker, but it was a 40. Got my heart going. It's the most fun I've had so far on this trip. <laughs> Since the first time I've had a fish actually stay on my bait. Right. Yeah, boy, she kept like coming up behind. Well, yeah, I mean, if I go any slower, the bait stops twitching. Right. But that's what brought her in. She wanted to come in and look at it. Well. <laughs> Yay, Jamie, you saw a musky. Well, we came around. I'm glad we came around on this other side of the spot. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go a little different direction here. I, yep, I got a little Poseidon with the Trilogy Edition on the front here. So we're gonna try this out and uh, see what that does for us. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. I don't think he turned around on it. It's like a blondie. Oh, yeah, another respectable fish. They ain't little. Right, right. Oh, she's below us, she's below us. Let's see her, she's right there. Nothing. Well, we just got into the major and we've seen a couple fish. So hopefully, this will get them riled up enough and they might actually do something instead of just being stupid muskies and looking at stuff. Oh geez, God, I got whacked. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> That's an eater piker, I think. <laughs> Thanks for unhooking yourself. Oh yeah, yep, that's that's an eater, no doubt. You hit the wrong bait, pal. Sorry, buddy. You get to stay in here. Well, at least it's a fish, I guess. Got to start somewhere. All right, boys and girls, uh, we are back out for the afternoon. Um, we we're going to go and take a nap, but that didn't happen. We went and ate, talked to some friends, and found out that we didn't do too bad compared to Nate and his dad. They only saw three fish this day, and uh, or so far this day and we've seen five so we had some action from some fish on rocks we just hit a weed spot didn't see anything so i think the rest of the night we're going to concentrate on rocks throwing poseidons uh, custom x eight inch minis we've got water temps in the upper 60s we've got a cloud bank coming in it's the night of the full moon it should be good uh, but muskies are always muskies even muskies that haven't been touched for a year and a half uh, are acting stupid so that's the plan for the afternoon. I hope we can get something to go. Otherwise, it's, we're gonna go nutty. Well, everybody, that's sort of disappointing. I really don't like making musky videos that don't have any muskies in them, but that's the reality of musky fishing, as most of you know. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> we're on day three of this trip. Day one was 
just a mess with storms and wind. Day two, uh, we were able to get out with our friend Glenn McDonald from 54 Bust and get on a smaller lake, which when I'm on Eagle Lake, I don't like leaving it to go and not have a chance at a giant, but sometimes you just have to go catch a fish to gain a little confidence back. Uh, today didn't help our confidence though, because uh, that was that was rough. Um, one pike in the boat, that's, that's it. But like I said, uh, we'll try to keep it uh, keep it real, and uh, this is about as real as it gets. Sometimes it sucks. So, uh, with that, we're gonna do better tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, we'll get some rest. Hit her hard tomorrow, and uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you watching this mess. I'll see you on the next video.